All right, so is you said, hey, can you hear that? You were going to do something you wanted to recreate. I just wanted to say I'm very proud of everybody here. (laughs) You know what else I love about this crowd? Uh, Oh, yes. Not only am I proud, we can say that all we talked about was doing this. I'm loving that we're matching. It totally goes to my vanity. Oh my God. Totally unplanned too. Hell yes. You guys, we're so simpatico. Yeah. <laughs> it's it. serendipitous. <laughs> you know how I know them words? I got a calendar that said like, learn a new word. And then I waited six months to use it. The words that came after that, I have no idea what what was said on August 3rd. I have no idea. But April 3rd. I don't know. But on September 14th of last year, serendipity was on there. I remember. That's the day before my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, like, oh, this is... Not... <laughs> I, I'm loving this new setup, by the way. I'm loving this new it's, setup. It's going to they have it for to make it really easy to make the clip you know how zoom is like really hard to get it into like you do yeah. a post it's like impossible to see everybody yeah it like cuts off i like, like it like we have these nice like portraits yeah, yeah. <laughs> you would have been cut off or last time when it was three it's like two on the top one on the bottom yeah which is like oh yeah and that's see hard. that's a devil's three-way with drugs and you don't do that don't say that don't say that on this call with you. Who's the devil's three-way? According to whom can we just say, look, <laughs> you do you. I'm not going to yuck anybody's yum. Whatever happens, <laughs> happens. Whatever floats your boat. So, like, uh, what are we talking about today? Uh, Seven deadly seasons. <laughs> you know what? Tie this in. is going to be a fun, fun episode. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, fun fact. <laughs> I wish I had more. If if I'm going to get through this episode, y'all need to calm down. (laughs) So we're talking about seven deadly sins. My assignment for last night that I kind of assigned to myself to get somewhat prepared. So my role was to be in the middle prepared. Like uh, Roberta loves notes and research. So she dug into it. And JP's role is to kind of sit back and be the observer and, you know, see what comes out of both kind of perspectives that me and Roberta came out of. Your commentary is coming from pure, this is what I your, know. You know your here. commentary and research because I'm not going to do homework. <laughs> I, got, I, I, I got a diploma that says I don't have to anymore. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's true. That is true. So you know, oh, well, you can get an extended degree. It's like, well, what I'm gonna talk, also to, do talk to Bella and Berta. I'm going to have a button that says, okay, JP, enough sure. talking. <laughs> <laughs> you should have one that's just like a cutoff sound. Oh. Like he hears that sound and he knows. Is that what that red light is? That's No, that's recording. I can do <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that one. That has That's my phone. That's the one. I'm so funny. Anyway, cool. kidding, but <laughs> just <laughs> thought that was funny. Anyway, so I couldn't watch it. I was too scared. But um, so let's start. I have nowhere to start. So what's the first sin that? Well, do you guys want a little background information? Oh, yeah. On... Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's do that. So seven deadly sins also known as capital vices or cardinal sins. Um, They are pride, greed, wrath, envy, lust, gluttony, and sloth. Which for those of you who aren't familiar with what sloth means, it's essentially being lazy. That's an opinion. well, oh no, I'm kidding. I know I, I'm totally kidding. Hold on, I'm totally like, are the seven deadly sins and opinion as a whole? Anywho, <laughs> so get this they are not even mentioned directly in the Bible, um, they are actually mentioned more in Proverbs, 
which um, Proverbs are a part of the Old Testament in Christianity. We'll get a little bit more into that. Well, actually, I'll tell you this. Proverbs, um, there are biblical wisdom literature. That is essentially what Proverbs are, right? Guidelines on how to live your life. And so the first thing is, hang on, let me look at my notes. Okay, so they were first enumerated by Pope Gregory the first in the sixth century. And they were elaborated in the 13th century by St. Thomas Aquinas. Okay. Question. So, yeah. So, so Gregory decided the what these seven were. Oh, oh, sorry. Pope Gregory decided. Pope Gregory the first. Yeah, these are also, the seven. Okay. Yeah. In well, first of all, yeah. yeah well here we go the modern oh, we concept go. was uh, a monastic tradition of early christian egypt so it wasn't even something that is directly from god what they were drew from, from essentially are um they parallel with seven things that god is said to dislike so they're not even like mentioned in, you know, succession seven. These are the things to not do. It's more of like, hey, these are mentioned. And I found on it's simply catholic.com and it's the site like it lists the seven deadly sins and then it cites the proverbs that they're from. So that's why you will never see any like thing that is directly linking them to the Bible, New Testament, Old Testament, anything like that. They're only in <clears throat> proverbs. Um that uh and they were later first there were eight okay huh. and then um so when they were being melded down into one it was because vanity remember our callback to our last one james paul <laughs> pride is often thought to be the father of all other sins and it was deemed the devil's most essential trait Ooh. so vanity was one of the first or, or was one of the original historical sins, but it was determined that vanity is viewed as a form of pride. And so that's why it was taken away and court sort of meshed mm. in with pride. So are we talking about seven deadly sins? Yes. Or are we talking about seven deadly sins in the modern day? Well, because are we here. really talking about biblical? Because this is not a church. Well, maybe Catholic this is the broadcast. whole thing how it does not correlate to it doesn't normal every day and that's the whole thing right the, this is the thing and i think this could be encompassing for a lot of religion is how antiquated the bases for those religions are and yeah. I, of course this is something that we could you know further get into okay, but, look but i think especially with the seven deadly sins and the way that people live their lives more authentically these days, at least I would hope so. It's almost as if the seven deadly sins were or are called out. So people may not maybe leave, live their lives. So be douchebag. Well, yeah, I mean, they're obviously like, if somebody's <laughs> greedy, you're going to call them on it. If somebody is like wrathful, they're super angry all the time. You're going to call them on it. Right. But All right, so let's navigate through that first then. Okay. We've covered pride. We've covered let's pride. On. Let's go on. Okay, not a problem. Next up, we have, let's see, we'll go with greed, right? So greed is uh, as seen by the church. Okay, first of all, it's known, or it's, I'm sorry, it's covetous, right? It's like a sin of desire, like lust and gluttony. However, as seen by the church, it is applied to more like artificial desire in the pursuit of material possessions, money, oh. money that sort of thing. Yeah. You that's will cheat, you will out. steal, you yes. will defraud, you will like, Roberta's a great person, but I want what she has. So I'll say that she is a very, very negative thing to get mine. Yeah. It's, it's, you don't care who you have to crawl over, what you have to do. You're going to get what you get because and, you want In our modern you're day, you don't modern. care who you have to crawl over, which means yeah. you will defamate, defecate. 
you will do whatever needs be. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to be at the top of the heap. Shall we go to Wrath? Wrath, yes. Yeah, okay. I have questions about Wrath. Go ahead. Okay. So, Wrath, it uh, can be defined as an uncontrolled feelings of anger, rage, even hatred. Mm -hmm. I don't so even know what you're talking about. Is it? So it often reveals itself. I don't know where that came from. Sorry. With the with the the feeling to seek vengeance, right? You want to in the purest form. You want to level that playing field, right? It presents with injury, violence. You know, Ooh, boy. hate. There's that word again. So holding grudges is a form of wrath. Um, it can also manifest in different ways. It says impatience. Hateful, myth, hateful misanthropy, uh, revenge, even self-destructive behavior, revenge. because that could be like a wrath to yourself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> could we consolidate uh, wrath, pride, uh, and, uh, into one? Can we do that? Well, you know what's funny is I mean, like... There's been the... a new testament. Like, can we make a new new? So the Sids, they actually kind of are categorized if you think about it they're physical emotional and mental right so physical is would be like lust right the acquisition of um material objects greed that sort of thing emotional <laughs> that would be your moods right so that would be your greed that i'm sorry your wrath that would be your envy that sort of thing and then your mental i'm sorry not envy. Your mental would be envy, pride, that sort of thing. Um, Question. Answer. <laughs> is it possible that when these um, notations were being dictated, where we yeah. separated the physical from the mental, that somebody didn't have the understanding of the human brain? Well, and obviously... Okay, great. So look, uh, so the neurological <laughs> things that happen, oh my God. <laughs> they aren't physical, they aren't mental, they're all the same. Okay. But I want to hear about neuroplasticity. <laughs> we don't know what that is at all, JP. <laughs> Could you help? I texted Roberta last oh, night. Oh, BS. Like, you, 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 no, come like, on. Do you, you know how many No, you do. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, you know. But this is the thing. Think about when this was written. And not only that, when these were formed or whatever. Since when has neurological science and religion ever, ever gone hand in hand yeah what's the uh, what's the quick the quick definition quick definition of lust is um intense longing it is usually thought of as intense unbridled sexual desire no. which <laughs> may lead to fornication rape no. well, mm, don't agree with that it is sorry it is sorry yeah. so it, you know just based on that and I mean, we could dive further further into lust because I think that's a good. I I I'd be willing to bet that we if we pay attention. Sorry, no. Mm -hmm. If I pay attention, we take the seven down to two, and then we have to pick the anomaly, the seventh. Uh, that the like we could do a three and three, and have to pick the anomaly. That uh, goes into an episode. Yes and no, because I kind of disagree with the three. I think mm -hmm. each one has a very distinct um, uh, characteristics of a person. Like, I could definitely okay. see somebody being um, whatever. The so, envy and the I... greed, they do connect. They do have a very strong, you know, correlation, but they're very different um, intent their intentions behind the actions that you do in order to be considered mm. greed or envy or you know right. Because I have I... my 
my theories as to why I would focus more on lust. Like for me, because I think it's one, sexuality was repressed in my childhood growing up. And two, I didn't get to express my true authentic self, um, who I was sexually. So I think that's a reason why I mm -hmm. go so there. The oppression so leads to, in a way, not really obsession, but theoretically, like, it's more... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it even led to it. I just think I'm that kind of person by nature, but I think it certainly didn't help. Mm. Gotcha. So. And then sloth is the last one that we haven't talked about. Sloth is, is funny because it's sort of like a bunch of different things thrown in there. So it can do, it could be something like dating from antiqu antiquity, um, spiritual, huh? pathological, physical states, right? Exactly, right? Huh? It's defined or it could be defined as an absence of interest or oh. a, a habitual disinclination to exertion. So it basically, yeah, boils Laziness. down to being lazy, not having any motivation, not wanting to have any motivation. To I care about anything. nothing. Exactly. Exactly. What, what person listening to our podcast cares about nothing? This is very Sorry, I have a lot of belief in our, our listeners. Well, I don't the think they would be listening if they didn't care about anything, right? But this is a good this okay, so we could this is Sorry, I'm being prideful. <laughs> don't I'll eat that bird bacon. <laughs> <laughs> and the, yeah, and then we can compare it to the Ten Commandments if it gets down that way. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, to, like, to be real, like, of the seven deadly sins, the seven commandments, or ten commandments, if you will, like, are there things that are listed that are, they're like, bad? Like, I wouldn't do that? The commandments. No. Why? Well, I don't, no, no. Let me I can't even aside. say I wouldn't, I wouldn't, yeah, I, I wouldn't, I couldn't even say I wouldn't kill somebody, but if, because if it came down to, like, like I have told my daughter time and again, I will kill somebody for you. If somebody yeah. is messing with you, but that that concept will correlate with another uh sin or commandment. Like there's it yeah, correlates right. with wrath because I'm angry enough to kill somebody on her behalf for messing with her, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It also correlates with an eye for an eye. Which mm -hmm. may not which be is Eye for an eye isn't even in the Bible. I understand that it's not in the Bible. But reality is, is that you and you both, um, whether you go to church, you believe in God, you, you know, make time, whatever. There is something innate in yourself, be it your parents, be it you. Something has been passed down. And if something harms your child, you will do everything you can not to kill that thing, but if it puts your child in a place that your child will be killed, you'll kill that thing, and you yeah. won't feel guilty about it mm -hmm. in the in that moment. But you'll feel guilty about it later. That to me is something greater than us that is imposed. Mm -hmm. That it's there. Like yeah. you, how do you define what it is? To be so, a good person, how yeah. do you how do you define that? Do you find it by biblical terms, by the seven deadly sins, by this and that, by by society's terms now, where with racism and everything that goes on? Um, my greatest idea of that or concept is: look, don't hurt me. I'm not going to hurt you. Don't hurt the product of me. I'm not going to hurt you. Yeah. If you come at yeah. anything that I have, I will take your life. I will end you. And I'm, I, I'm going to feel bad about it because of my empathy. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to stop me from taking you away. Like, you're not going to steal yeah. my joy. 
Where, where did you learn that? Did you learn that from church? Did you learn that from God? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I learned that from me. Yeah. Honestly. Well, uh, I'll see. But, and that goes back to the whole. Oh, it's pride. Um, yeah, it's pride. Will. Yeah, no, it's pride. Yeah. No, no, you learn from you, that's how pride. how you choose to conduct yourself. I mean, uh, and this is. It's pride. I mean, it, wrath, right? Yeah. It's like, a combination yeah. of pride and mm -hmm. wrath, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you fuck with me, I'm going to fuck with you. That's, yep. that's revenge. Yep. And so pride. Yeah. 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 So this, like our whole conversation, it actually reminds me of like my all time favorite Oscar Wilde quote, which I love Oscar Wilde. You too with the quotes. I love it. I know. I, know. I like Oscar Wilde, Wilde too. I, I, I'm will, uh, like, I want to hear this. Amazing. Amazing. So he has a quote and um, it is every saint has a past and every sinner a future and wait <laughs> i'm gonna and... make a special jp button <laughs> and that is just something i just i love because it's that reminder of no matter what we are human mm -hmm. and humans err, and that's what it comes down to and just because you've done bad things in your past doesn't mean you're a bad person and just mm -hmm. because you've done good things in the past doesn't exclude you from making bad decisions in the mm -hmm. future right oh and so you will either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself the villain mm, that's a good one too that's a good one I will, I will be Life the hero. Life does not discriminate between the sinners and the saints. Yes. That's, that's from the like musical Hamilton. Hamilton. Like, like, Hamilton! Uh, I was just going to yes! say. Life oh my God, I can go off. Between the sinners and the saints. They take <laughs> and they take and they take. Yes. Yeah, I love that song. Oh because it's God. exactly right. I also yeah. think that there's something greater than us and everything that I've done before my son is still on record. But if I got to the gates and I had to do something to someone to protect my son and I get there and I was like, well, you did this thing to this person. Yeah. Well, they were going to kill my son. Yeah. And uh, well, yeah, but you also did these other things that happened before your son. Great. Take See, me. Take me. See, I, I would I the things that I've done would definitely be considered bad but I don't regret mm -hmm. anything I've done Right at, at right. the end of the day. There's things that right. I wish I would have known the outcome would have been. Yes. Whatever the trauma, the actual whatever. But I know I've lived a life where I can look back and really talk through every single part of it, the lessons I've learned and whatever to my daughter. So my karma bank is, is fine. Oh, my like, karma I don't bank sucks. Things. <laughs> I live by karma. It's like, I'm mm -hmm. not gonna, you know, that guy did whatever. He, you know, flicked me off on the side of the road. That's fine because he's gonna, he's gonna have to deal with it himself. See, I was that he guy. To get him. I was that guy. And it's like, look, I, uh, I treated people badly. I, I wasn't the best me. Um, and I spent the remainder of my life when I figured that out, trying to be that, that person. Um, um, yeah, and that's the karma mm -hmm. coming back to you mm -hmm. to how having you realize that versus karma coming back to you and causing wrath for not living the, the life people uh, are going to have. I'm, I'm sorry, did we just bridge the gap between Catholicism <laughs> and Buddhism as far as karma and? Yeah, I look. If you really want to take a think about it, I think all religions can be linked to each other because yeah. if you think about it, they're all derived from the same ideas. I think that anyone who has a great aptitude for religion believes the same thing, because mm -hmm. I I think that if we truly want to believe in something greater than us, mm -hmm. whether it be written whether it be a story told, which is also something written. There is something in our heart, innate, called our heart. There's something, goosebumps. 
There's something in us that speaks to us when mm -hmm. good or bad, as we know it, is happening. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they are all connected. And really, are we so arrogant to think that there is one idea, one right. best scenario? Yes, we are that arrogant because that's what we hear from people around us. Mm -hmm. But that they know the answer. Mm -hmm. But really, like people like yourselves, it's it it flows through you. It yeah. gives you goosebumps, makes your hair stand up. The Holy Ghost, Buddha, uh, Allah, whatever it may be, something great in you stands up. And then when it stands up, it's only for the good you did. It didn't stand up because you were doing bad on someone else. Right. That's a good place to, to end it. We're... Mm -hmm. This is a good one. I'm, I'm yeah. excited to see how it comes out. And then uh... really, I thought it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't know for as much as you've talked. Just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Where's the I'm button? Just Where's the on button? You. Oh, you're right. Like it. No, oh, you're right. You're right. Where's the button? I didn't see the. I'm very. I'm. 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 I'm vain. I'm vain. I'm very selfish. I have vanity and pride and whatever. Like what I don't have for y'all is like, you know, wrath. So sorry. You're right. I talk a lot. Yeah. Don't clap for me. I'm not there yet. Thanks, guys, for listening, and we will be back. We're going to talk about the next sin next time. So, bye. Bye. Bye.